Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening teacher. How are you doing? Very well. That's terrific. Hi. Perfect. That's nice. And how are you doing with the platform? Have you worked on the platform? Yes, kind of, more or less. Yes, 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 teacher. Okay, and how are you doing with the exercise? Have you experienced any problem or any inconvenience solving your exercises? No problem? No, no questions about the exercises? No problem. All right, that's nice. Remember that it's important. I have seen that some of you have been working and asking for assistance. And I hope that all of you have completed at least the section one. Al menos la section uno ya tendría que estar completa, ¿verdad? Si han avanzado más allá, pues mejor todavía. Pero sí es importante que vayan súper al día y si se puede adelante, pues igual. Bien. Um, algunos este, um, han estado pidiendo ayuda, otros no, pero espero que todo esté bien y que vayan al día con sus ejercicios because that is really, really important that you are, um, que estén al día con los ejercicios. Okay, so um, we finished the section number one in the last week, right? So today we're going to start with a review of the simple present and we're going to continue working in section number two. Section number two, it's um, always simple present but we are going to study also vocabulary, house vocabulary, furniture, and all those things. So we're going to start, as I told you, with the review. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So as I was telling you, we are going to start the section number two. And before that, we're going to make a review. Vamos a hacer un repaso. Uh, la sección 2 es igual, siempre simple present. Vamos a estar aplicando lo que aprendimos en la sección 1. Uh, so, it's important to make a short review. Remember mm -hmm. that in this case, we are going to be using uh, the simple present. Vamos a estar usando el simple present. Eh, acuérdense, como les decía, ¿verdad? Simple present. Uh, para no generar tanto problema o confusión, dividámoslo en dos partes. Las dos partes las vamos a usar en la sección 2. Ok, so, uh, en el módulo 1, eh, se estudió el simple present with the bird B. Um, ok, so voy a bajar esto un poquito. Ok, so you studied the simple present with the bird B, ¿verdad? Con el verbo to be significa ser o estar y se conjuga en am, is, are dependiendo del sujeto, right? I, we use am. Um. For you, we use are. He, she, it, we use is. We and they, we use are, okay? So for affirmative statements, we just use the subject, verb be, and a complement. Like for example here, I am an engineer. You are a student. He is in the room. She is my mother. It is a cat. We are friends. They are dentists. To make negative statements, para hacer oraciones negativas con el verbo to be, solo le agregamos la palabra not después del verbo to be. De después de ser o estar, agregamos not. Okay? I am not an engineer. You are not a student. He is not in the room, etc. Now, yes, no question. Recuerden, yes, no questions. Um, primero, verbo to be, subject, and then complement and finally the question mark. Cuando estamos trabajando con el verbo to be, eh, igual contestamos usando el verbo to be. Recuerden, am I an engineer? Yes, you are. Oh, no, you are not. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Or, no, I am not. Is, is he in the room? Yes, he is. Or, no, he is not. Y así pues van con el verbo to be. 
Luego vimos el simple present con otros verbos que no son cero estar. ¿Ok? Está la otra parte con los otros verbos que no son cero estar. Acciones como leer, comer, saltar, trabajar, estudiar. Esto lleva a otra estructura, ¿verdad? So, tenemos sujeto y el verbo, decíamos que ahí sí vamos a ir como cambiando cuando sea en tercera persona singular. Cuando sea he, she, it, dijimos que le vamos a agregar S a la mayoría de los verbos. Y luego vimos las spelling rules, que a veces va a ser ES, a veces vamos cuando terminan en Y, solo en algunos casos solo la S y en algo otro vamos a cambiar la Y por Y latina y S. Y todas esas reglas se aplican solo en oración afirmativa, tercera persona singular, ¿verdad? Y a los demás pues no sufren cambio. Igual decíamos que para hacer oraciones negativas uh, vamos a usar el auxiliar do y not o does y not, ¿ok? Que en forma corta es don't y doesn't. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar don't? Con a, you, we, they. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar doesn't? With he, she, it. Y no vamos a variar el verbo, ¿verdad? Ya no le vamos a poner nada de eso ni nada de eso. Y para hacer yes, no questions, decíamos que vamos a poner primero el auxiliar, sea do o das, das dependiendo de pues el sujeto. Si es tercera persona, vamos a usar das y con todos los demás pues vamos a usar do. Para contestar, vamos usando el mismo auxiliar, a diferencia de, del verbo to be, aquí el auxiliar es do or does. For example, if I say, yeah, do, do I cook? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Uh, does he cook? Yes, he does. O no, he doesn't. Okay. Y esto es básicamente lo que vimos. Ahora lo vamos a aplicar acá. Find and correct the mistakes. Vamos a encontrar y a corregir los errores. What you're going to do is to read the statements or read the questions y ver qué es lo que está malo y corregirlo. Lo van a hacer en su cuadernito. Por ejemplo, aquí la oración dice, he go to bed very early. ¿Cuál era el error? Que el verbo tenía que llevar ES por estar en tercera persona singular haciendo una oración afirmativa. ¿Ok? Vamos a hacer la dos juntos y después los dejo trabajar a ustedes. La dos es una pregunta y dice, ¿Does they live in Canada? ¿Qué es lo que está mal ahí? Uh, el verbo y el subject. ¿El verbo live? <coughs> El auxiliar. No, el subject. Ah. Tendría, que tendría que decir, does live they in Canada? ¿O no? Mm, por ahí escuché una respuesta diferente, oigamos. El auxiliar es el malo ahí. El auxiliar. O sea uh -huh. que does está malo. Sí, sería do. Do. Ajá. ¿Por qué? Porque no es tercera persona. Exacto. So, congratulations, good job. Tiene que ser do, porque el does lo usamos cuando el sujeto es tercera persona singular. Y aquí es un sujeto plural, es they, es ellos. Con they usamos do, no does. Entonces aquí tiene que ser do. That's perfect. Okay, so with that, you're going to continue with the rest. Van a hacer las otras ya ustedes solitos. Ya hicimos dos ejemplos. So I'll give you a couple of minutes.
Buenas noches. Good evening. Finished.
finished? Finished, teacher. Okay, finished. let's see. A volunteer for number three. A volunteer for number three. What do you think? What is the answer there? What is the mistake? Volunteer. I am usually cooks dinner for my family. Uh -huh, okay, that is the sentence. Así es como dice aquí, I am usually cook dinner for my family. ¿A dónde está el error? Um, yo le puse la S en el verbo cook. No sé. Okay, a different answer. ¿Alguien tiene algo diferente? Eh, mi. Ajá. Yo, yo lo, bueno, no estoy muy seguro, pero lo que le encontré es que es I am cook usually dinner for my family. Que yo salí va después del, del cook. Mm -hmm. Ok, any different? Acuérdense que en el simple present tenemos separado el verbo to be, que es am, is, are, lo separamos de los otros verbos. Y si se fijan en esta oración, hay dos verbos, you am y cook. Entonces, si yo quiero interpretar esto, dice yo soy o yo estoy. Usualmente cocinar se la parte de la familia. Uh -huh. Entonces sería cooking. Ah, uh, si fuera un continuo, sí sería I am usually cooking. Y estaría bien. Usualmente estoy cocinando. Ajá, uh -huh. tendría que ponerle aquí. Pero, Pero la respuesta acá es eliminar el cero estar. Si eliminamos este am, entonces me queda yo usualmente cocino la cena para mi familia. So the answer was to eliminate the, the, the am. Uh, number four. A volunteer for number four. Agregar das al principio. Uh, por ahí vamos, sin el R, ¿verdad? Quitar el R y agregaríamos. Dos. Ajá. Do they have a meeting every week? Excellent. Andaba cerquita. Ok, uh, number five. She doesn't like tennis. Excellent. She doesn't like tennis. Uh, number six. Do. Does John have? Ajá. ¿Por qué? El verbo no debería de modificarse porque estamos haciendo una pregunta y tenemos el auxiliar de tercera persona. Entonces, excelente, correcto. Does John have enough money? Cool. Now, number seven. He knows the answer. Excellent. Es en el verbo. He knows the answer. Number eight, Robert. Robert plays. Sin la E. Sin la E. Ajá, sin la E. Excellent. Uh, number nine. They have uh -huh. lots of... Have, ajá, uh -huh. they have. No tenemos que cambiar el has, uh, porque has es cuando es he, she, it. Pero cuando es they, tiene que ir normal. Have, they have a lot of free time. And number 10. Mm, do they usually drive? Excellent, excellent. Drive, sin ing. Okay, very good. 
So as you can see, those are the answers. Así es como les debería haber quedado, ¿verdad? Y están ya corregidas. En rojo tenemos donde estaba el error y cómo se corrigió. Ok, uh, this is little by little. Esto era como un repaso. Algunos tenían respuestas acertadas, otros estaban así como dudando. Vamos a seguir estudiando esto. Yo sé que son un montón de reglas y se nos van a ir quedando. Ok, uh, now, remember how do we form questions? And scramble the words to form questions. ¿Se recuerdan cuáles eran las estructuras para hacer oraciones en simple present, yes, no questions y la WH questions? ¿Las anotaron por ahí? Para oraciones. No, para pregunta. Para preguntas. preguntas todas auxiliary, estas son preguntas. Auxiliary. Um, plus verb. Subject. Ajá, auxiliary va primero, si es just no question, va primero el auxiliar. Yes. ¿Qué va después? El subject. El subject. Y luego. El verb. El verb. Y luego. Plus el complement. complement. Y por último. Question mark. Question mark. Excellent. Entonces, si es una yes no question, esta es una yes no question porque no veo ni una WH word. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría esta? Does Brittany. Does Brittany. Take the bus. Take the bus. Take the bus. To school. To school. Excellent. Así nos tiene que quedar el orden. Does Brittany take the bus to school? Excellent. Y así van a ir trabajando con los demás. Esa era la yes, no question, pero si es una WH question, la WH word va a ir primero, antes del auxiliar. Esa es la única diferencia. Ok, so I'll give you a couple of minutes. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que terminen de arreglar las otras cuatro. Ya hicimos la primera juntos. It's time to work the other four. Finished? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, volunteer for the second one. Does Justin work every day? Excellent. Does Justin work every day? Perfect. Continue, volunteer. What does work? Okay, entendí what. Luego what de what, does, what does? Maya do after work. Maya do after work. Excellent. What does Maya, Maya do, do after, after work. work? Excellent. What does Maya do after work? Now, continue. Volunteer. 
where does Brittany work? work? Excellent. Where does Brittany work? Now the last one. What time does Maya go to bed? Excellent. What time does Maya go to bed? Excellent. Ok, este ya lo hicieron más rapidito. Me acuerdo que la semana pasada había como que bastante problema en el orden de las preguntas, pero ahora ya van, ya sí van a ir avanzando. Little by little. Ok, now let's read this. This is about something we have Brittany, Justin, and Maya. The student reported Mike talks to people on the street about their schedule. Do you know what a schedule means? What is a schedule? Programa. Programa, Program, de trabajo. programa de trabajo o su programación, su rutina, su agenda, digámoslo. That's a schedule, su programa. That's nice. Okay, as you see here, this is Brittany, Justin, and Maya. Brittany is a college student. Justin is a city tour guide and Maya is a rock musician. Okay, um, Gerardo, can you be Mike, the reporter, and Diana Brittany? Repeat the question, please. Uh, aquí necesito que Gerardo haga Mike, el reportero, oh. y Diana, Diana Yamile. Okay. Va a ser Brittany. Ok. Ok. Uh, what's your schedule like? My class starts at um, HIM. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to a school. Take the bus to school. Take the bus to, to a school. Cool. Well, did your class end? They end at no. At no. Then I have. Then I have a home in the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from eight until. Midnight. 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 Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Let's repeat. Uh, noon. 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 Job. Yeah. Job. Library. Yeah. Library. 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 And study. Study. Um, study. Evening. Evening. Midnight. 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 Okay, let's continue. Let's pick some other two. I have, uh, let me see, Estela. Estela Hola. and uh, Monica. Vamos a ver, Estela empieza aquí donde dice Mike y Monica Justin. Okay, eh, una consulta. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? What's your? Casual. Schedule. 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 Ah, excellent. Schedule. Okay. What your schedule like? I get out at six. Um, I don't know, 15. No sé cómo se dice 15. 15. 15. Se me ha olvidado. I get out at 16. I am at Star Wars at 9. Okay. Um, what do you do before work? I go for a room at 6. 30. At 30. A.M. A.M. Um, they have breakfast at 7. Seven. Seven. And after work? I finish at six uh, o'clock. Um, I have dinner downtown. Do you work every day? Oh, I work on three days, Saturday and Sundays. Very good. Now just repeat Fridays. 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 Excellent. 
Now, let's continue here with Lisette. Lisette Basser, Mike. And uh, Emma, you can be Maya. Okay. Okay. So, schedule, verdad, teacher? Schedule. Schedule. What's your schedule like? Well, I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner at 3 30. or 30 or 4, 4 o'clock. Then, then I play a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, remember the questions. ¿Se acuerdan de las preguntas que hicimos estas? Uh, yes. Does Brittany take the bus to school? Does yes. Justin work every day? Sí las anotaron, ¿verdad? En el cuaderno. Yes, teacher. Ok, ahora las van a responder, van a leer y a responder. ¿Cuál era la primera pregunta? Does, Does Brittany take the bus? Take the bus. To take the bus. Ajá, vamos take a ver bus. qué dice de Brittany. Yes. Ok, so la respuesta sería yes, she does. Does Brittany take the bus to school? Yes, she does. Ok, so, tienen que leer para darle respuesta a esas cuatro preguntas son las que les quedan porque ya hicimos la uno. Does Brittany take the bus to school? Yes, she does. No. Finish? No. No, yes. Okay. No, no dice donde trabaja Brittany. Ah, okay. Library. Okay. Estaba bien, Dama. <laughs> Finished? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, good. Let's check the answers here. Okay, we have the first question. Does Brittany take the bus to school? Brittany take the bus? Yes, she does. Yes. Does Justin work every day? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. What does Maya do after work? She has dinner and takes a taxi. She has it. Where does Brittany work? She works work. at the library. At the library. What time does Maya go to bed? She, she goes, goes to bed at five in the morning. At five, at five in the morning. Okay, those are the answers that you were supposed to have. Do you have any questions so far? Tienen preguntas hasta acá? No. Eh, eh, one question, teacher. Yes. Eh, pudimos, pudimos haber dicho eh, cuando dice, does Justin work every day? No, he works only weekends. Yes, that's a possibility, sí. También podían hacerlo así. No, he works only y los días que trabaja. And that's fine. Okay. Okay, now to start the section number two, we have a vocabulary about house and apartment. Como les decía, vamos a seguir con el present simple, pero ahora vamos a hablar de house and apartment. So vamos a ir siempre haciendo un pequeño review hasta que eso se nos vaya quedando de a poquito. Okay, so we have the video here in case that you didn't watch it. We're going to watch it right now. So the 2.1 is vocabulary, house, and apartment. Let's allow it to load the video. Okay, turn the audio. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. I don't know what's going on here. Creo que tuve algunos problemas porque me sacó de un solo. So I don't know if you completed the video because creo que estoy teniendo un poco de problemas acá. But the video is basically the vocabulary of uh, rooms in a house and the uh, parts that you can find in an apartment. And uh, well, we have in the first floor, we have stairs, living room. Dining room, kitchen, laundry room, garage, and also the yard. In the second floor, we have stairs, bedroom, closet, bathroom, hall, closet, bedroom. Bedroom, so it's like three bedrooms in the second floor. And then in an apartment, we have a lobby, a living room, an elevator, dining room, kitchen, closet, bathroom, and a bedroom. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? No, no questions. Is the vocabulary clear? 
to share. Yes. Dining room. What is? Dining room. Dining. Dining. Este, living room. No. Dining. 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 Dining room. Dining room. Ah, este es el comedor. Dining room es el comedor. Okay. And laundry. Eh, laundry room es el cuarto de lavado donde usualmente está la máquina de lavar y de secar ropa. Ese es el laundry room. Gracias. Okay, any other question about vocabulary? Algo otra vocabulario que no esté claro? No, that's it. Ok, so, that is, uh, y luego está el ejercicio de que te, es como qué partes tiene su casa y lo pueden postear en el discussion forum. And then, it's, uh, we have another video, it's about uh, the simple present short answers and the conversation my new apartment. Ok, esto lo vamos a hacer en partes. Um, So we have a simple present, la conversación, y luego pues ya vamos a ver otra vez eh, lo que ya es el contenido de la plataforma en cuanto a gramática, lo que nos va a ayudar para hacer los ejercicios. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how the topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, so there we have the conversation. And what we're going to do first is to practice pronunciation. Vamos a, a practicar pronunciación y con esta vamos a también a ver cómo se usan en este topic. Vimos algunas yes, no questions. Like, let's see. I have a picture here. Me escuchan bien, sorry. Yes, yes. Es que a yes. veces oigo un ruidito. Ya se echó. Ok. Escucho una interferencia, pero se le comprende. Ya se fue, ¿verdad? El ruidito. Yes. Sí. Ok. Let's see. Uh, the conversation. Aquí vamos a estar practicando siempre. Aquí, por ejemplo, ven la first, la primera, yes, no question. Do you live downtown? Aquí hay otra. Does it have a view? Okay, so let's practice the conversation. You can repeat at home. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Guess what? Guess I have, what? A, new have a new apartment. apartment. That's great. What is like? That's, That's great. great. What, what, is what is like? like? It's really nice. It is really, really nice. nice. Is it very big? Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Well, well it has, it has a big living room, room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. A kitchen. A kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? Nice. nice. Do you live downtown? downtown? 
No, mm -hmm. I don't. I live near the university. No, no. I don't. No. I live no. near the university. university. Does it have a view? Does it have a view? Have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Yes, yes. it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Apartment building. Okay, so, como también tenemos una yes, no question aquí con el verbo to be, que es lo que vieron en el módulo 1, y de lo que hicimos el repaso, ¿verdad? Por eso hice un repaso del simple present with verb to be and in the other part of the simple present. Do you have any question about vocabulary before we continue practicing? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta antes de que continuemos? Vocabulario. No questions? No, no questions. Guess. Ah, the expression, guess what? Es como decir, adivina qué. Guess what? Teacher, creo que me puede pronunciar donde dice downtown. 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 Excellent. Downtown. También en otra imagen decía, on lake you'll be a dry. En otra imagen decía, on lake you'll be a dry. Ok. In, well, but in this conversation. Okay, if there are no more questions, los voy a poner en grupo, so take a picture of the um, conversation so we can practice in groups. Let me know when you're ready. Voy a mover esto para arriba para que tomen a picture de la conversation. Okay, take the picture or the screenshot if you are in your computer. Right. We're going to practice pronunciation. Remember to click join or unirse when I create the section room. So you can practice with your classmates and I'm going to be checking in all the groups. Just give me a couple of minutes. Okay. Remember to click join or unirse and we're going to get in groups. Yo continuo. What's what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What do you what do you like? It is really nice. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room. A a bedroom. A bathroom, a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I not. I, like, I live near the university. 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 Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a group, a group view of another apartment building. Okay. And ahorita continuaría Diana y Alexandra, ¿verdad? 
Sí. sí. sí así. ¿Quién empieza, Dayana? Sí. Si quiere empiezo yo. Bye. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it have a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near university. Does it have a view? Yes, I does. I has a real view of a northern apartment building. Okay, very good. But remember is building. Yeah? Building. Building. Mm -hmm. Building. Building. Very good. Continue practicing. Now who's turn? Tienen que irse turnando también. Okay, DJ. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Este. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, what? I had a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really nice. It's very big. Well, it has a big, it, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you like? Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near. The university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of an apartment building. Excellent. Okay. Okay, entonces voy con, con Bruno. ¿Con qué? ¿Cómo se me fue? Se me fue sí, Bruno. 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 Okay. ¿Quieren empezar, Gerardo? Okay. Okay. Guess what? Uh, I, I have a view. Okay. Okay. Uh, si quieres volvemos nuevamente, Noemi, porque Araceli tiene problemas con, con, con el audio. Con el audio. Sí, así escuché. Uh -huh. Vaya. Empiezas uh -huh. tú. Okay, pues, uh, had, I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really nice. It's, it's very big. Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't live uh, near the <laughs> university. Does it have an uh, a view? A view. Yes. A view. It does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, you did a very good job. It's just the last part. Eh, solo en la última parte vamos a. Does it does it have a view? Does it have a view? Uh huh. Does it have a view? Yes. It does. It has a great view of great. another. Uh -huh. great. great, great, great view of another apartment building. Building, 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 building. building. Okay. Apartment building. Apartment, apartment building, building. 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 Apartment building. Apartment building. 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 Okay. Very good. I will check another group and you can continue practicing. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, ya veo que ya casi todos faltan unos pocos que regresen. Okay, that was uh, quite uh, everything. Todavía me faltan seis. Okay, it's almost time to finish. Ya casi es hora de terminar. So, 
Remember that for tomorrow, para mañana, vamos a ver eh, esta parte de la conversación y de cómo hacer las preguntas. Acuérdense que es como un repaso. So, tienen que practicar el, el vocabulario del apartment, de la casa. Y si pueden volver a practicar la conversación, hicieron un buen trabajo. So, para que lo puedan hacer más rápido y que se oiga como que fluya como una conversación normal, hay que practicar, practicar y practicar. Yo sé que a veces nos podemos aburrir de repetir lo mismo, pero eso es lo que los va llevando a mejorar, ¿verdad? Entonces, acuérdense, la plataforma está la conversación, la pueden seguir practicando y mañana pues vamos a partir de ahí en la sección 2, en el segundo video, para ya ver lo que es la gramática, vamos a seguir con lo de las preguntas, que ya bastante le agarraron al tema. Vamos a seguirlo practicando para que lo dominen al 100%. Ok. Thank you for being on time. Uh, thank you for being in the class. Remember to complete the knowledge check. Completen, completen los ejercicios del knowledge check. Sección 1 debe de estar terminada. Y en la sección 2, pues ya pueden avanzar también con los knowledge para que no se les vayan acumulando. Y cualquier eh, duda o pregunta, estamos a la orden. Pueden escribir en WhatsApp. Okay. Thank, thank, you, you, thank, you. Okay. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 B